Okay, guys, today I'm going to do some more in-depth on the uh, Rova dash cam. This is the A1 version. It's priced at $59.99 on Amazon.com. I kind of went over everything it has as far as the wide-angle lens, recording, uh, the Wi-Fi, all everything like that. So um, I wanted to make note, though, that in the book, there is a section with getting the app. So you're going to want to do that. You're going to want to make note that the dash cam stops recording when you do connect via Wi-Fi. But this is the dash cam. Again, you're going to have the papers on there, so make sure you remove them so you get a nice... Uh, there's one on the back that I'm going to leave there for now. But there's your power button right there. You'll see it'll come up with an introduction little screen, boot screen. And basically it's recording right now. I'm going to let it record. It's not a big deal for me. Uh, but you can see the microphone's on and off. You can turn it on and off right here. There, There's an X through it now, a line through it. It's just all with buttons. Um, this is an emergency recording. Like if something happens right in front of you, you can just hit this automatically. And you can't delete the emergency recordings, which I really liked. Uh, you got your time and date on there. Um, microphone, this is for the folders to see what's in there. There's what's in there now. That is what we're actually shooting. So I can hit OK on that. And it's going to be... There you go. And then to delete it, you just hit delete. You can delete all or delete current. Just hit current. OK, OK. So now there's going to be nothing on there. Um, this is going to be your settings. You can record in 720p. That's at 30 frames per second. Um, you can hit OK and change it to 720 to 60 frames per second or 1080 at 30 frames per second. Uh, next, you can move over one. You can see I'm using these buttons here to go across. Uh, you got timers, 10 minutes, one minute, three minute, five minute, and 10 minutes. Next, you can go to sensitivity. There is a medium, that's what I use. There's a high and completely off and a low. So low, medium, high, off. Next, you can move over to the parking collision detection. I have mine off right now. You just click OK and it's on low. There's a medium and a high again. And that's if you're just sitting in a parking lot and somebody hits your car. The camera will come on automatically. Um, let's go to the Wi-Fi. You would just hit OK. Now it's activated. It's Wi-Fi. It's letting you know what everything is in AP mode. You'll see the blue light flashing in the left-hand corner. Um, right now it's just searching out for the app that is which you would install and just go to your Wi-Fi settings. And this is what will come up. So it's very simple to put this into Wi-Fi mode. Um... I'm trying to exit Wi-Fi there. You exited it. And we'll go to, whoops, we'll go to, there's your timestamp. We all know how that works. Language, you know how that works. LCD auto off. This is a kind of a cool feature. If you don't like it on when you're driving, that's basically what it is. Um, you can have it off. You can have it on for 30 seconds, 60 seconds, or completely off. I usually leave mine completely off, but basically that's your button functions. Uh, it's very simple to, to use. There's even uh, the machine sounds, which I have off. You can hit OK and turn them back on. You can hear it beep there. I'll leave it on for you. Um, this is the default settings if you want to go back to everything. Uh, you have the format, the SD card section, which I highly recommend you do if you anytime you throw in a new storage card. And the watermark, you can leave that on or off, whichever one you want. I leave it on. Uh, there's a frequency, which is 60 hertz, which I leave mine on. Or 50. I think it's 50 and 60. Let me... Yes, 50 and 60. And then there's also uh, just about. And you can see what everything is in there just about the dash cam itself I always turn the sounds off because I can't stand hearing that beeping but basically that's all the button functions it's, like I said it's very simple 
Again, you have the emergency record there. It's just, it's locked that in right now. It's actually recording. And this will be a file that I cannot delete. I mean, just by accident. It's locked the other file in now. So it's just, it's basically a, a very simple layout to use everything. Um, I wanted to go over just one quick thing about the storage card. Um, you can, on a 32 gig card at 1080p, record at 30 frames per second for 320 minutes. Uh, on the same 32 gig card uh, at 720, at 60 frames per second, it's 360 minutes. And at 720, at 30 frames per second, it's 480. So uh, basically, you get a lot of time. I mean, I, I don't shoot everything in 1080p. When I'm driving around, I usually leave it in 720 at 30 frames per second. I don't think you need anything higher than that for daily driving. Uh, if you're going to be in a situation where you think you're going to really need it, uh, move up to the 1080p at 30 frames per second. But that's entirely up to you. But there you go, guys. That's just a little bit of the button layouts. Uh, again, this is priced at $59.99. So if you want to go ahead and follow the links to Amazon, go ahead and check them out. And I will have another video with uh, the dash cam in use in the car.